Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Jamila Devi Institute of Pharmacy. In today's session, we are going to learn about synthesis of sulfonylamide. Sulfonylamides are synthetic antibacterials that were used for acute, uncomplicated UTI infections, some vaginal yeast infections, ocular infections and malarial infections. Sulfonylamides mites may cause kidney damage due to some stone formation and many hypersensitivity reaction. If you look at the general scheme of sulfonylamide synthesis, you will see that it's composed of multiple steps, starting it with benzene ring, Nitration for this benzene ring will give you the nitrobenzene. Then a chemical reduction for this nitro group will give you the aniline. Acetylation for the amine group in the aniline will give you the starting material which is the acetanilide. A chlorosulfonation reaction using the chlorosulfonic acid will be happen to the acetanilide in order to give you the paraacetamidobenzene sulfonyl chloride. This intermediate will react with ammonia and water in order to synthesize the paraacetamidobenzene sulfonamide. So, you will get a sulfonamide group. Now, an acid will be used. So, acid hydrolysis to the acetamido group will finally give sulfonylamide. Now, starting with the first step, that is synthesis of acetanilide. In this step, aniline will react with acetic anhydride to synthesize the acetanilide. This reaction is a nucleophilic addition elimination reaction. Amine is an electron donating group that directs electrophilic aromatic substitution on orthopara position. Here, acidic anhydride is used instead of acetic acid because of its carbonyl carbon is more electrophilic than that of acidic acid, so the amide formation will be faster and easier. Now, question arises, why do we need Acetylation. Acetylation of amine was for protection and blocking. Acetyl group is a bulky group. It makes steric hindrance and blocks the ortho position. So, sulfonyl group, sulfonyl chloride group will be added to pair up position in the next step. Acetyl group will also protect from polymerization at many that may occur between sulfonyl chloride from one molecule and the amine group from another molecule and give polymeric material containing sulfonamide linkages. The free amine under the strong acid conditions of chlorosulfonation would protonate or react with strong Lewis acid resulting in deactivation of the ring towards chlorosulfonation. Going to the second step, which is synthesis of paraacetamidobenzene sulfonyl chloride. In this reaction, we will start with <coughs> acetanilide and react with chlorosulfonic acid. This reaction is a chlorosulfonation reaction and is a typical electrophilic aromatic substitution where two moles of chlorosulfonic acid will be going to be added. The first mole will react with the acetanilide to produce paraacetamidobenzene sulfonic acid that is SO3H. Then the second mole of 
chlorosulfonic acid in presence of heat will react it to produce the paracetamidobenzene sulfonyl chloride which is a more stable product from this reaction from this reaction hcl and h2so4 as gases will be produced now in this reaction the amide will be produced by treating the sulfonyl chloride with an excess of an ammonia followed by a removal of acetyl group the basic mechanism is the reaction is mainly a nucleophilic acetyl substitution the amide is produced by treatment of sulfonyl chloride with excess of aqueous ammonia ammonia is a good nucleophile excess of ammonia will neutralize the produced hcl sulfuric acid is used to neutralize the excess ammonium hydroxide and to reduce the or decrease the solubility of the product moving further towards the last step that is synthesis of sulfonylamide in this step we will start with paracetamido benzene sulfonamide now the hydrolysis of acetamide group in order to synthesize amino benzyl sulfonamide which is sulfonylamide you can see that we have two groups in the acetamido benzene sulfonamide we have the sulfonamide group and carboxylic group the two groups are sulfonylamide group and carboxylic acid amide group the sulfonamide group is slowly hydrolyzed and more stable in diluted acid due to steric hindrance to the approach of water molecules on sulfur while carboxylic amide group hydrolyzes easily in very diluted acid neutralization with sodium carbonate in order to get the free base and precipitate sulfonylamide hence we get sulfonylamide hope this video is helpful to you thank you please do like and subscribe the channel